Hey friends, it's Megan Elizabeth from ByMeganElizabeth.com, founder and creator of She Makes Club. Excited to share with you this custom jersey that I'm making for my son, Grade, and he's become completely obsessed with dressing up as a motocross racer like his uncle Wawa, and so he wanted his own custom jersey. So I'm using some heat transfer vinyl, or HTV, also known as Iron On vinyl, for this custom jersey. I am using this roll from HTV Ron, which I really do like. Um, it's inexpensive and it's easy to use and I just wanted to show you how to place iron-on or HTV onto your cutting mat to cut out in pretty much any die cutting machine that you would use with vinyl. So I'm going to grab my cutting mat and you can see I'm going to place it on there and immediately I know it's upside down. We want that shinier side to be placed down on the mat. That shiny side is basically acting as your transfer um, tape or um, backing, what have you, for your image. So what we're going to do is we're going to place that sticky side, that shiny side rather down and that more matte side or what would be the adhesive side facing up now you're not going to feel any adhesive on it because um, you have to heat it up for that heat for that um, adhesive to activate with heat so I already have my design made. I have Graydon and the number 419, which happens to be my brother's motocross racing number, as well as what was my sister's birthday. So I'm measuring it, making sure it fits with the number in the blue area, his name in the black. And the big thing here is that you wanna make sure you turn mirror on. So that's why uh, placing the, it the right direction on your cutting mat matters, but when you cut it out, you want to mirror the image. So it basically is going to cut backwards on your uh, cutting mat. I'm going to just load it in. I'm going to use my Explore 3 for this. And I just sized it to have his name, like I said, fit in that black area. And then the number fit in the blue area. And it's going to just cut out. It'll be done really, really quickly. And I'm heating up my heat press from HTV Ront as well. I really do like this one. It does show the uh, amount of pressure that you're putting on. It heats up really, really quick. It's a very even heat. It's a 10 inch platform. And I really love the color of it as well. So I have both the Cricut, uh, Easy Press, and Mini Press that I use all the time, but HTV Ron sent me this one, and I've been using it more often than my Cricut one, mostly because it tells me how many pounds of pressure I'm using. So right now, obviously everything's all cut out, and I'm just weeding or removing all of the excess or the things around that I don't want transferred onto my jersey or my shirt. So it's just a simple little pick. This pick actually comes with the roll of HTV Ront, which I think is great that they give you a weeding pick. Um, and I just thought I would use it and it matches the heat press as well, which I think is cool. So I'm just weeding out the number. I did cut the name and number apart so I'd have more control. It's exactly where I wanna place it. I do have it down on a heat pad on my desk. And then I'm just kind of centering it with the top of the shirt just to make sure um, that it's where I want it to be. And then I'm just going to press this down once it's completely heat, uh, um, fully to temperature at the heat setting that I want it, and then just place it down. And you can see as I press, that uh, number for the pounds of pressure goes up. And then I just let it cool off for a, a brief second. I'm gonna weed out his name and then peel off um, the backing sheet or that that sheet that was stuck down on your cutting mat is what I'm uh, re what I remove from the rest of it. I'm not sure why I'm struggling with my words so much today, but thanks for bearing with me. So now Graydon's weeded. I'm going to place that down and again grab the heat press, press that all the way down, and get that into place, and then. Let that cool for a second, remove, and there is the jersey for Graydon. Thanks guys so much for watching. I do cover a ton more over at ByMeganElizabeth.com and we have a full Cut With Confidence course right now inside She Makes Club. You can visit that at www.shemakes.club. You can take the full Cut With Confidence Cricut Crash Course there and get more detailed information on doing all the functions and features of your Cricut and so much more. Enjoy the moments. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.